In today's Filmora tutorial, we will learn to create the spotlight effect like this one. We will be creating this effect in Filmora. So let's do it. I have imported the video into Filmora and now I will drag and drop this video onto the timeline. Let's preview the video first. So this is the video to which we will be adding the spotlight effect. So let's start. I'll firstly drag this playhead onto the video and I will bring it to a point where I want my spotlight effect to begin. Here I will right click on the video and I will click on the option add freeze frame. Once I do that a freeze frame will be added and you will notice that during the duration of this freeze frame our video will become stationary. After that it will again start moving. This freeze frame duration is the one where we will be adding the spotlight effect. So I will go to the stock media option and here in the film stock I have this solid color tab where I will locate the black color solid black color and I will place it onto the timeline just above my video. Make sure that this black color layer matches in size with the freeze frame means the duration of freeze frame and this black color layer should be the same. If it is any different you can adjust its size so that the duration of both is similar. Now I will go to the effects tab and here in the utility I will find this image mask. I will drag and drop this image mask onto this colored layer. Then you will be able to see this mask looks something like this. Now I will double click on this layer and here in the effects tab I will scroll down to find the option invert mask and I will enable that. Now my mask will look something like this. Now using the sliders here I will adjust the size and position of this mask so that it only covers the individual on which we want our spotlight. Let's decrease the size of this mask first using the sliders and then adjust its position using this slider. Now I have adjusted my mask so that it only creates a spotlight on that individual on which I want it. Now let's click on OK. Now I will be adding an animation to this image mask which I just created. So bring the playhead to the beginning of this colored layer. Double click on this layer and here in the video option go for the opacity and decrease the value of opacity to 0. Then click on add keyframe. Then drag the playhead a couple of frames ahead on the video and here increase the value of opacity to somewhere around 75. Then drag the playhead further ahead and bring it to roughly near the end of the video and here Again add a keyframe with opacity value at 75. Now bring the playhead to the end part of this layer and decrease the value of opacity to 0. So now we have animated the mask which we created around that individual. Let's preview how this looks. So this is how the spotlight effect will look. Now we will make the spotlight effect look more cinematic by adding a title to this spotlight effect and then we will be adding a sound effect to this. So let's do that. Now I'll go to the titles option and this default title is the one which I'm gonna choose. Now I will drag and drop this title on the third video layer of my timeline. Then I will decrease the duration of this title from both ends because I want this title to appear a bit later than the spotlight effect and I want it to disappear a bit earlier than the spotlight effect. Now I will double click on this and I will change the title to something which I want. Then I will decrease the size of font for this title. Then I will also change the look of this title by choosing the preset from here. Then I will go to the advanced option and here I will go to the animation tab. I will choose the typewriter animation for my title. So as you can see our title has both inward as well as outward animation but we do not want the outward animation. So here. As you can see our text is divided into two parts, left is the inward and right is the outward animation. 
as we do not want the outward animation we will decrease its value to 0 like this and then we will increase the value of inward animation like this then we will click on ok now we will align our text here onto the video and then we will click on ok now in the final step we will add sound effect to this as we have used the typewriter text animation we will be adding the typewriter sound effect here in my media tab i already have imported a typewriter sound effect i will give the link of same in the description for you to use it now i will drag and drop this typewriter sound effect onto my timeline like this and then i will align it in a way that its size its duration matches with the title then i will drag the playhead like this and i will split this sound effect and i will delete the extra part so our final video is ready let's preview how this looks so this is how you can easily create the spotlight effect in filmora i hope you find this video useful if yes please give it a like share your views in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much